Hey everybody. All right. Um, you know how when um you're in the mid um, in the beginning of somebody's video, like the first fifteen seconds or so, they have a um intro. All right. I'm gonna be showing you how to make something like that. Um, here's my intro. I'll just play it for you really quickly. I won't play the whole thing, but um, something like this. Um. All right. So, um, I use motion. Um, you can use After Effects too, but I prefer motion. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to all, or blank new, and, um, click on motion, hit open, takes a minute. Alright, here we go. So now what we want to do basically is, let's say we want... I don't know, something like, um, some text right here that says, um, tutorial, tutorials. All right, now we can highlight this, go to library, or no, I mean inspector. Now let's say we want... Oh, yeah, oops, that never works. All right, well, we can just go like this. So we want something like that. Then we can make the size like that. Then we can go to style. Pull that down. Let's say we want the gradient to be red to... um. Like red to, uh, it's a sticky one. I got a better one. Oh, oops. Sorry. Hit this little plug on top. Let's say you want like this, that purple. All right. Now what we can do is now that we did that, pull this back up, and see how you, we can fill it with like a texture. But uh, I like gradient better. All right. Now right here, we want to choose. Let's say a blue and then drop shadow it has to be how about like a red and see now we have kind of this cool effect all right now what we're gonna do is select this tool and what you basically kind of do is just kind of play around you know move your mouse around and stuff till you get something that you like um drop that down pull that there Let's see on it, and it kind of gives it a 3D effect, right? And so let's say we want this for the first, um, here, I'm going to do this time code for the first second. Let's say we want it for the first second. All right, I have to make this. It's in nine seconds. Um, let's say we want window, or no, we want to go to, um, I think it's command. Let me just wait for this thing. Cancel. All right, I think it's command J. Yeah, for properties, hit command J. Or, um, and then right here, duration. Let's see if you want it 15 seconds and hit enter. All right, now what we can do is we go back here. And you see where it says 15? Take this and drag it back there. All right, now we have a 15 second one. And I'm just going to go like that so we can see the whole time code. All right, and I want background solid, right? Well, actually, no, I want transparent. All right. Um, now what I'm going to do is, let's say I'm going to go to File Browser. Let's go to, where do I have? I'm trying to think, where do I have an image? Oh, um, pictures, um, let's say we want something like, um, the USA GIF flag, and put that there, 
Now hold shift down and drag it out. Oh, that's really pixelated. Oh, whatever. We can make it smaller so it won't be as fuzzy. And then we can like kind of do like the same thing, you know? Same kind of effect. All right. But see how right here it's a, it thinks we want the USA for the whole time. We don't. So I'm just going to drag this. Let's say we want the USA for five seconds. All right. Now, and we want the tutorials the whole time. All right. See, now this is, this is what you have to do. Is to make it, you know how in mind the moving, this is what you have to do. Click on it. It's this little red button right here to insert a keyframe. Let's say we want on, um, I'm going to go back to frames, on frame 31. And remember, each, this is one second, and here is one second in between these lines, right? So for the, um, from the last second, from the first second to the second second, let's say you want this thing to go from there to here. Go like that. Come that way. And let's say, I want it to be like that. Uh, now hit, hit the space bar, hit it again, and undo keyframes. You don't have to do it a certain amount of time, just to get the keyframe in there. That's a little trick. All right, now hit play. See, and there we have it. And if you look at the time code right here, boom, ah, it stopped right at 31. All right, now let's go to, um... And so if we go to 61, enter. Now what we do is let's say we want it to go way over here now. It's kind of a different perspective. All right, that's kind of cool. Um, play again. It doesn't matter how many times you do, just to get the keyframe to register. And then I'll like this. Cool, right? All right. Now what we want to do is now we want to do some animation on the USA. So let's say on 31. You know, let's just make this two seconds long. All right. So I'm gonna make this to the second second. Now what I'm gonna do is go to Library, Behaviors, or actually Filters, I think. Um. Where is the thing? Alright, I'm gonna do bad film. So what you do is take it and just drop it on this layer. Alright, now I'm gonna pause that. And now I'm gonna go behaviors. Um where's the fade in and fade out? Well these are alphabetical, so we'll just go to All right, I'll just go to, um, where's fade in, fade out. All right, here we go. Fade in, fade out. Take this and drop it on there. All right. Now, let's see what happens. See, so kind of fades in, fades out right on the same keys. All right. Um, now let's say, and if you want a different tool, just hold down on it. You don't right click or anything. Um, it's not like Photoshop. So what you want to do is, oh, let me pause that. So now let's say you want, starting right here, you want some more text. And you want it to say, um, any, oops, anything, Mac. All right, Hit enter. Now let's say for that in the inspector, we want like this 80s thing. Um, it's just a different font though. Um, how about something like that? That's pretty cool, right? That's a font I downloaded. It's called. Um, Aberrancy, I think, or something, from uh, um, 1001freefonts.com. Really nice website. I'll have a link in the description. Um, now we can put some... Now yeah, let's just leave it at that. And now we have this. 
And now it just says anything Mac. And now let's say right here, we can go here and we can do insert keyframe. And we can say we want both of these things from there. And on this thing, we want it to go there, but now we have to do some lots of um, you have to put this like that right, and I'm going to go to like like to work in like 50 or something so you can kind of see what you're getting at um, alright now I hit play again and do keyframe and let's start from the beginning so now we have that now this user is going to slowly migrate across the screen like that and they'll end on 301 alright now <coughs> the trick is, is um, to put it in your video what you have to do is go to share um, export movie most important thing in the whole entire um, making it you go um, I just did do nothing um, leave all these things what it does is when you um, export it save it first by the way then export it because then you'll have the file name when you export it what it does is it creates it to an MOV a dot MOV instead of a motion and um, then you can put it in all your projects and it'll take a while for it to export like maybe five minutes I think for a 15 second film um, yeah alright that's about it rate comment subscribe thanks